Hi everyone, my name is Anagha and I'm part of the data science discovery team. In this video today, we're going to be doing a question on simulations in Python. So let's go ahead and get started. So here it says that you have a box of tickets marked with numbers and you want to play a game with your friends who are Swifties. Uh, the game is simple. If you draw a ticket out of the box and the number is 13, then you win, else you lose. Uh, there are 25 tickets marked 1 through 25. Assume you are drawing with replacement. So that means that, like, you know, when you draw a, a ticket out of the box, after you're done with it, you can go ahead and keep it back. So at all times, there will be 25 tickets in the box at all times, right? So write a simulation to play this game uh, 1,313 times. Your end result should be a data frame that contains zeros and ones. If you win, basically, the game should record a one. If you lose, the game should record a zero. And then store the results in a data frame named DF, which has one column, uh, which is called win. So this is uh, pretty similar to the all the other simulations that we have done, except there's this one extra component here, which is uh, for this column it records if you won or lost which is you know really a binary result but if you win the game um, the result should be a one if you lose it should be a zero basically we want to add this extra conditional here which tells us that um, okay did I win or not and based on that result we're going to be storing different things in our data frame so let's go ahead and get started here so so the basic you know code for our simulation will be the exact same as all of the other simulations that we have done. It's just that one extra component, right? So I still have my <coughs> cumulative data list that I'm going to define at the very beginning, right? And at the very end, and I'm still going to be creating a data frame out of my data list, right? So I'm still going to be doing df equals pd dot data frame data. Um, and in the beginning, I'll, and in the middle, sorry, I'll still have my for loop, which will have all these iterations. So kind of those three components <coughs> are all the same, except some minor details in the for loop are different. So when we go ahead and code our for loop, it's going to be for i in range, and then there's going to, uh, we're going to play the game uh, 13, 13 times, right? So each iteration of our for loop basically represents one simulation, um, basically playing the game once, right? So if I want to play the game 1,313 times, well, there's going to be uh, that many iterations in our for loop, right? So the the like in each iteration, what I want to do is basically draw the ticket out of my box, right? So I have these 25 tickets marked 1 through 25, and, and the first step is... Uh, you know, pretend I'm playing the game, right? The first step is basically drawing that ticket out of that box. Well, that's going to involve the usage of random.randint, right? Because there's 25 different numbers in the box. I want to randomly pick one number from there, right? One random number, which is basically one random ticket. So I'm going to call it, I don't know, ticket equals random dot brand int one comma twenty five right and remember in random dot brand int the syntax is going to be a comma b where um, it's basically inclusive picks a number from a to uh, random number from a to b right so here my ticket basically represents that random ticket that I picked that random number right and and normally we would be storing this in the data in the dictionary right so we're still going to go ahead and do that um but there's going to be some difference here right so we want to store if the if the <coughs> Uh, ticket that we drew is 13 that counts as a win right so we need to record a one if the ticket is any number that's not a 13 that's a loss so we should record a zero so usually our, our first instinct would be in our dictionary to have our key as ticket right and then right after the colon you want to um, I mean in normal simulations we would just store the result of uh, whatever random number that we drew here, right? Like if this was a simulation where we just had to draw um, tickets out of the box and basically store the results of 
the tickets that we drew in each simulation. But that's not what we're doing here, right? There's an added layer that if that ticket is 13, we want to store one, else we want to store a zero. So we're actually not recording the ticket that we drew. We're recording if we won or lost in the game, right? So here it's not going to be the actual ticket it's going to be whether we won or not right and remember our column should have one um column named win so so in the very um and you know basically that that dictionary should have whether we won or not right so basically i want to um th there's a couple ways of doing this right but i think the I guess more straightforward way is to maybe define win to be zero, right? And we're just default assuming that we lost, right? Default assuming that we lost. That's why our win is usually zero. And then I'm gonna say that if my ticket, if my ticket was equal, the ticket, the random ticket that I drew, if that random number was equal to 13, I'm going to change that to a win, right? I'm going to change that zero to a one. So if my ticket is equal to 13, then I'm going to have my win equal to one. My win, um, my default was that we lost, but if that ticket was equal to 13, then I'm going to change that result to a one. And then I want to go ahead and still in my dictionary, right? We're, we're adding the results of whether the results of the game, right? Of whether we won or lost. So my first key is gonna be win. We also want that column to be called win. And what is that gonna store? Well, it's gonna store the result of the game, whether we won or lost, right? So still gonna store win. And um, after that's kind of done, we wanna append data.append d. We wanna append our dictionary into our cumulative data list like we always do, right? So in each iteration, we're basically drawing that random ticket. We're seeing, um, we're, we're defining our win variable to be zero, but if the ticket that I drew at random was equal to 13, well, then we're changing that win to one because we won, right? So we wanna change that value to one because if you win, the game should record a one, right? Um, and then at the end, we're basically creating, still creating that dictionary where that first key is that column name win, and then our second, uh, the value is basically whether the result of the game, whether we won or not. And you can call this any variable name you want, right? I could have called it game result if I didn't want to call it win. If you think that's a bit confusing for you because they're both the same, you can call it game result. And here, I would have to change this to be game result. But notice how my key, like the the um, the string in in quotes right it should be called win because that column name in our data frame should be called win um the the value what it's actually storing can be called whatever you decide to name your game result variable like whether you won or not storing a zero or one so that that's kind of up to you and then i want to just append that dictionary to my cumulative data list and then at the very end i want to do create my data frame df equals bd dot data frame data and at the very end i want to print out df so now when i print out df it's basically going to be one column named win with a bunch of um with a bunch of ones or zeros right so it's going to be uh all of these <coughs> 13 13 rows right because i played the game 13 13 times right and it's um my win column will basically have the results of my game whether i won or not and you might see okay there's all zeros here well um remember that the the middle columns are i mean this whole result is basically truncated right we're only seeing about 10 rows here and it's not likely we only have like a one in 25 chance of actually winning so that's why the ones are kind of rare but basically that's what this question asks us to do right it, we have to play the game 13 13 times basically this extra layer that we need to kind of keep in mind in the simulation is that yes we're still drawing a random number here but we're we're not really appending the the random number that we drew to a data frame we're appending the result of a conditional right like if our ticket is equal to 13 then we won so we want to um, append the game results to our actual data frame so if the ticket was 13 
then we append one, else we, um, you know, append the game result as zero. So I just wanna go ahead and submit this, and that's all correct. So I hope this um, video was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you next time. Bye.